back right now. A longtime Bakersfield entertainer is getting some special recognition. Mae Netter, a singer, actor, and general all-around cut-up, has been inducted into the Music Hall of Fame of his native West Virginia. But because of the pandemic, the twice-postponed ceremony honoring the five new inductees will now be a TV show. And the Hall of Fame asked Mae just to record his musical acceptance, which he continues to work on this week. Last week, he brought along a friend you might recognize, especially if you're of a certain age. 17's Robert Price snuck into the studio with a camera and files this exclusive report. He's almost 80, so he looks a little different than he did when he made 56 guest appearances on Buck Owens' pre-Hee-Haw television program, Buck Owens Ranch. He went on to appear on TV shows like The Waltons, Falcon Crest, Knott's Landing, and others. A born entertainer, that Maeve Nutter. But there's a problem on my mind, and the answer I just can't find. You better get me to a head shrink or something wrong with my thinker. Need a different woman all the time. Hey, who's that guy sitting next to Mafe on the sofa of the recording studio where Mafe is taping a little something for his induction into the West Virginia Music Hall of Fame? Hint, he had a song sometimes too on the Pop 40 top chart for 220 straight weeks. Longer than Elvis Presley ever did. Longer even than Elton John who managed it for 157 weeks. That is Pat Boone. Hot diggity, dog diggity, boom, what you do to me? He and Maeve Nutter have been friends for 40 years, met playing basketball of all things. By that time, Boone was already famous, having recorded in practically every genre of music. Pop, of course. Rock and roll, of course. Hard rock is a different category. Uh, patriotic, country, movie themes, love songs. Um, gospel. Gospel, of course. I'm in the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. Pat Boone, who's 86, came up from his home in Beverly Hills just for the day to cut a few songs with his old friend at 777 Recording, a private studio tucked away in the Rio Bravo Hills with producer Rick Reno Stevens. Boone was a superstar before the word entered the lexicon, but he knows the nature of fame. It can be so, so fleeting. I don't know. I mean, somebody may come along and, and just hypnotize everybody for five years and be on the single charts for not the way you did that but <laughs> not the way you did every reunion is special when you reach your 80s Mafe Nutter and Pat Boone seem to know that and they made it count yeah. <laughs> Mafe Nutter has another recording session coming up this week and he's been ordered to keep quiet to let his voice rest not an easy thing for a guy like Mafe to do these wildfires have not helped matters one bit but he knows this Hall of Fame opportunity is a big chance to build his legacy and he's gonna make that count too in Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.